all the joy and love you all generated out there. And now we will, sh yeah. Why don't you share some of your energy with us because we've been in here playing with figures. Okay, so we're gonna. And Marcos, Micah and Marcos. that with us that's super cool okay um, what we're going to do now what we're going to attempt to do we um, it's a process of coalescing of synthesizing your recommendations that were evolved out of your vision into creating some active potential active steps that if we think about what's the forward movement of the Latino theater commons not just us in the room, but beyond, because we are beyond, what does that look like? And what that encompasses is, what does it look like on a national level, on a regional level, on a local level, on an individual level? So, in other words, thank you folks who circled things. We took all of the stuff that came up, we tried to condense it into the four areas that were recommended, five areas, excuse me. Advocacy and networking for art making, scholarship, and convenings. So this is gonna go kind of fast. So I think it's gonna have to be somewhat shouted out kind of loud or stood up, let's see what it feels like and how it flows. But I'm gonna really quickly read through the list of how we coalesce the ideas around advocacy networking. And some of this sort of collapses a little bit. So one, the notion of how do we advocate for new plays, both by creating the new play Latina O, Latina Latino mapping, which yes, we know can be done through Cafe Onda, it's part of Cafe Onda, but also how might we do that in those variations, and play submission opportunities. So think of that as like, how do we support plays, plays? How do we support about knowing about where, the, where, to, where to send our plays and knowing how to announce our plays? Then, the notion of a resource board, which encompasses uh, a list of internships, a list of artist profiles. The idea of how do we develop regional advocacy plans? And maybe we start that at a lower level that develop into a national advocacy plan. How do we support local individual work? I'm just making the list. How do we, well this is an action, pick a mentor, be a mentee. How do we infiltrate existing organizations? How do we connect artists to share with other Latino artists and among the larger community as a whole? How do we make a list, and maybe this is under a resource list, a list of recommendations <coughs> of folks to fill leadership positions, board leadership, other leadership positions, artists in government, right? How do we create advocacy training in our communities? How do we, in, how do we identify <coughs> regional delegates for the continuation of LTC, <coughs> BMNT? And how do we create networks between artists and scholars? Should we stop there and do the work? Groovy. So on a national level, and we're just gonna kind of fill this in really quick and thank you guys who are gonna be writing. How would we on a national level, and if you wanna think of collapsing any of those or addressing any of those on a national level, how do we do anything that's on that list? Gain access to the most powerful players, institutions, funders. Gain access to the most powerful players. Universities, foundations. Luis. I have an idea. I think we should copy what uh, N NTN does, create a database of Latino plays and Latino players, and have, make it part of Cafe Onda, and you just have it accessed and ready. Everybody can access it. So there's a list. You yeah. submit plays, and it's easy to submit. You download them, and they're readily available. To Is that something we need to do on a national level? And forgive me, David. I'm yeah. just trying to process how to, how to write that down, how to reach the most powerful players. Well, the commons. Maybe the commons accesses, gains access to the most powerful players. And so is this an individual effort? A national, we're talking national, right? 
Okay, let's put That's it down. Sure. sure. Is, it, is, it the, is it through the new flight map? Well, I think it, I, I mean, the, it, again, the it sounds, it sounds like we, you're asking us to contact people individually, right? Individual well, it, players, well, right? Comments has brought in so many players here that, that I don't have access to that it seems like the commons could you know, gain access. So it sounds like it's developing, and forgive me, I'm just trying to process it. No, it sounds no, like right. it's developing a list of the powerful players in okay. order to access them. So that sounds like a national effort to get together a database, if you will, of the, of the, of the power players, yeah. whatever that means. If we all Thank just you. join the database and we have it with contact info and, and we were also doing that in terms of the artwork, it, would that satisfy uh, what I, you're thinking? Or? Well, well uh, for example, the, for, I, think t I, I think this convening uh, provided access to, to um, the people that I, I wouldn't have had access to before. And that are, you know, myself as an individual, my company, my region has had access that we've never had before in a sense. So it's a resource sharing model. Yes, yes. So it's, a, it's, a, so it's to develop the LTC resource sharing through a database. Of, so Powerful Players includes a national resource list. So under the resource list that we've been, that we're identifying, which looks to be a national thing, that's, that's, that, that, that's included then, power players, as well as the artists, as well as the work. But, but it's bringing together, it's not just a list, it's, it, this convening has brought us together, more opportunities like this. So opportunity, so maybe we hold that for convenings for introductions. Okay, okay yeah, I'm just, great, hold great. on to that. that so can somebody write so that under convenings? Yeah. That's the best so far. <laughs> maybe national, provide introductions. National introductions. Okay. And now, we put down your idea about copy the NPN model. Yeah. Is it NPN or the NNPN, NNPN model? NNPN. The NNPN. It's a national new play, right? As opposed to the network of perf performance. National performing network. The national performing network. Thank you so much. OK, again, back to here. Anything here that we could see addressing, OK, let's put it this way, on a regional level. We have this create a regional advocacy plan. On a regional level, could you imagine going back to your region, whatever that means, and developing an advocacy plan with your people? We had five communities today. Rose. Um, must it be playwright-centered, or can it be advocacy? No, no, no. This is advocacy as a whole. The first bullet had to do with plays. So I would say hold the first um, regional Latino theater auditions, equity, non-equity, um, already agreed to be hosted by ACT. Regional in, in Seattle. Seattle. Okay, so in Seattle, regionally, they're committing to holding uh, Latino. Uh, <coughs> let's say a Northwest regional open to Portland. Open, open. So you're talking West Coast then? Yes. So Oregon, regionally West Oregon. Coast, which is exquisite. Let's say Oregon, Washington, Northwest. Let's call it, okay, so it's a, re it's a Northwest. Regional Latino <coughs> theater auditions, equity, non equity. You got it. Beautiful. Attended by seven local peers. Details, but got to. <laughs> yes. So what, um, in the advocacy group, what just stuck with, what came up at the end was that we're only getting 2% of the funding, you know, the, the funding that's going towards, I, I, I don't know if it's all nonprofits, and that's probably within the arts funding, it's even smaller. And that's going to take a concerted effort on all of us. We all, in our local community, should be knocking on the doors of our city art commission in our county commissions, art commissions, and saying, what's up? Local. We pay taxes. Knock on funders' doors locally. Uh, Lock, no, a civic government, civic funding. Funding. Local government, equity and funding. So raise awareness around equity and funding on a local level, if not, if and not. I don't know what happened. There was at a TCG conference that there was a, a, a specific breakout workshop of the funders Right. I don't know where that's gone, but I, I think as, you know, as, as a comment, we should get a report out about headway being made by the funding community. So that's a national effort then. Um, review national arts funding report, for lack of a better term. Thank you. Just to reiterate, these are just suggestions so that we can populate the ideas on these levels. And so all of this riffing is just making these goals practical.
So other ideas, and we can move. You, we, right now we're dealing with advocacy. We can move into art making, things that came up. An artist or writer's convening. Yeah, um, the term of Latino is what I just want to question for a moment in terms of advocacy and what that will get us on a national or even a regional level. Uh, I think it's a little bit like when cars first came out, they called them horseless carriages, you know, and eventually they became cars. No one calls them horseless carriages. I think the Latino term will eventually phase itself out. Okay. Actually, because it's it's too limited. Okay. And it's not gonna give us the kind of support that we need because it's ethnic, it is divisive it ultimately. Really, what are we about and what are we reflecting? I think that what we are reflecting are the new Americans. Who are we? We're the new American theater. <coughs> Why not take it? You know what I'm saying? We're not divorcing ourselves. From Absolutely the not. Theater. Completely agree with you. We, we are providing a new beginning for the American theater. So we are, we're the new American theater. That's what we are. So I'm gonna, that's beautiful, because we were actually having a conversation about whether we needed to put the, the word Latino, Latino up there at this all. So let's just do this. Way, okay? So right on. So let's just do this. Let's call it nationally reframe or rename, rename ourselves? Our rename ourselves? Our rename our theatrical movement. Yeah. Because that's not just gonna take one person, that means we all embrace it. It's like rebranding, right? Rebrand. Okay, thank you. Next, other thoughts, yes. Um, just to put it out there, in Los Angeles about productions is already planning a three-part symposia. The, uh, for small theaters in Los Angeles, so it's not only Latino based, um, and it, it's to result in policy and advocacy for small theaters art making in Los Angeles. So, so a that's lot of the issues that we've brought up here, like the funding issue, etc., will be part of the discussion. And beautiful, and I think one of the things you're bringing up as well is that we're developing models. Correct. So, I maybe, so talk, right, LA, the advocacy. And then maybe the bigger picture, or maybe the regional level, is Sharing. how do we share models? Beautiful. Other thoughts? What can be done? Let's see, we had peer review of work. Do you have under artwork, uh, art making? It also comes up under convenings. For example, the Fortinus Institute. How do we approach that on a national level? What do we need to do? It's done. It's done. Done. Okay. Do we need to approach that on a regional level? Find a location. Somebody can you write down find a location. Is there a West Coast application goes to an East Coast application of the Fortinus Institute? We don't know. That's a good question. Find a location is the question. Find a location. If they took it on in regional, yes, or the charge rather. Yes. Is that a national level? National. National, national level. level. Task force mm -hmm. to support the Fortinus Institute. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. I might be kind of crazy, but yeah. um, right we should have a, a, central, a, play, a central place for the Fortinus <coughs> Institute, but have it be itinerant so that the institute moves around the country and people can part participate in different regions. That was, a, that was a question I had, too. Is the Fortinus Institute a building, or is it a... Uh, or is it a, an Beautiful. Or a Define the Fortinus Institute. That might be under task force. Yeah. Under I mean, if it's a national thing and people would like it to travel, it becomes a national conversation. Yeah. Folks want it all over, right? Yeah. The but question to east-west. Yes. If we are going uh, to model it after the O'Neill, it, it's somewhat uh, it's a safe house, work. It's also a retreat. It's a place to discuss. So. Sometimes it is a good thing to go away somewhere. Great. And that will be part of the task force is to talk about what's the value of having a home that's actually there and what's the value of having it be itinerant and traveling. What's its, what's its manifestation? We just had a day escape. Okay, other things, other thoughts that we want to address on a national, regional, local, or individual level, individually. What can you do to move forward? I'm going to add something. The Latino, the play mapping has to be done on an individual level. I have to commit to going on 
HowlRound and typing that stuff in. Thanks. Mario Ernesto is spearheading a website in, in Miami, out of Teatro Avante, that's going to chronicle, uh, uh, capture a database, a resource. Do you feel that that's an individual project, a regional, a local project, a regional <coughs> project, even though it impacts the national field? No, we're, we're, we're building, a, a, we're trying to build a, a website at a national, at the national level. So that, uh, in addition to having a directory, you know, the most common things, uh, you're going to be able to update it and, and talk about, about your work, about your, your theater company, and, and your programming. So hopefully, you're all going to get an, uh, an application so that you can join in, and then you can update it yourself. It's taking uh, some time, because I definitely wanted to be here first and, and see all of this, so now, I think it's going to be delayed even longer, <laughs> but, but it's going to be it's going to be good, and, and it can improve as time goes by. Beautiful, and ideally, it will link to Cafe Onda. Yes, Tiffany. I think uh, individually, uh, I know that they have had a database of artist profiles, but we should also have something for managers and administrators, development directors, <laughs> dramaturgs, so that if you do know that a local theater um, is hiring or even a, a foundation is hiring people, you then have sort of like a LinkedIn where you automatically can recommend someone so that we can start infiltrating because we're really gonna make changes if we are decision makers. So um, you're supporting infiltration on a regional level by sharing the information that you receive with the national level. Yes, so this speaks to, to infiltration and advocacy. Um, does that make sense or is that local to, to national? I think everything, but I think we individually, individually. Need, to, need to put ourselves forth and recognize that, name these names, because how we say it, they say So no the commitment that. on an individual basis is to, sh is to make recommendations to positions of leadership for people we know who we think should be there. Yes. Beautiful. Yes, Lisa. Local, uh, uh, in front of this convening, we, a lot of cities had like mini convenings. Yeah, and I think yes. many convenings in our cities locally is very important because we were established all in the same space. Um, we came up with a whole bunch of ideas, right, Ricardo? Right, Sandra? Sandra? Yes. Yeah? Yes, yes. Um, so we're working together as a network uh, and thinking of ourselves as the network locally. Every city should have a tanto, right? Like, every city should have a coalition. Of How about a local, local, under local convenings? Because it sounds like there's a lot of power of people, as good as Skype is, lots of power of people gathering in the room. Yeah. So foster local convenings. And that could be on an individual basis that people move that forward, uh, but it's gonna happen locally. And then we'll see where that goes. Just a second, David, yes, Jose Luis. At the individual level, uh, like I, I teach the MFA directors in UCLA, and now for the spring season in the school, they have to do three I bring for next year. So I as a... As, as an academic, as a scholar, you are assigning, you are actively assigning Latino canon yeah. to your students. So they can produce. Let's put that up somewhere. Yeah. Maybe yeah. under scholarship, individual, individual. Individual. Individual, because it is, the, I mean, you know, you have to actively, if you, some, in some cases, you have to ask for permission. May I put this in my syllabus? Great, Jorge. Yeah, also under uh, individual initiatives, I announced it at the beginning and it's in the blog that I wrote that we are going to, Tiffany Anna Lopez and I are going to co-edit an anthology to be published by University Press that will include, that will be the culmination of everything that we've learned here and are <coughs> continuing to learn and every one of you is a documentarian. We are going to ask all of you, we'll send it out for your participation. Do you see that as an individual, local? As individual. As right on, individual. So what, 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 do we, what do we call that project? Submit to anthology. Submit to the anthology. Submit to the, an submit to the anthology. <laughs> <laughs> Submitting to the anthology by submitting your reflections to me by next Sunday. Submit to Brian Herrera by next Sunday. Just do it. Beautiful. We have nothing on a national level, regional, uh, uh, art local art making, my friends. Yes, Karen. Call for uh, new plays. 
Uh, we need to have a place to send them and a place to, sh I don't know what it is, but we need to make a call for playwrights that we don't, e don't even know exist, those high school students, <coughs> kids in colleges, everywhere to start sending plays. So it's a, is it about the playwrights sending out their plays? Is it about inspiring those places to work that toward the deadline? To write, I mean, a, a national play, I mean, I know there's a national Latino play at, in, Ar in Arizona, but we, I don't know how many plays get submitted there, but I, I, don't, I feel like we need like a national. So generate a national call for new plays. Our, it's art making. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm trying to be concise. Thank you, because I got the getting the yellow card. Yes. All right. See? Um, Look. Using all of our resources and all of our networks, using our ability and collective voice to ask every regional theater, including the Lords, to create a year of the Latino and, and have them commit to producing one Latino play. Thank you. <gasps> Okay, is that, how do we do that? On an individual basis? On a local basis? All of them. Well, let's start with a year. Okay, so we have to motivate. And we talk to, and, and no, look, excuse me. One year. About 17% of their budgets go to Latino artists. Okay, one thing at a time, Lou. Uh, okay, hang on. So. On the main stage. On the main no, I, I, I'm, get, I'm getting the picture. I'm trying to frame the, the sentence because were you specifically talking about Lord? Yes. So on a national level, level, motivate, motivate the Lord theaters to commit to one to a Latino at least one Latina Latino play on their main stage that season, yes. whatever season that might be. Thank you so much for writing that down. Okay, hang on. Oh, I, I'm sorry. One second. Go ahead. This is different. Is that right? Uh, this is different. Do we need a second to catch up, or are you okay? Right on. Because we've got a bunch of writers. Yes. I'll get to you. On a, on, on a national uh, scale, we provide a casting hotline, not just to the Latino theaters, but to all theaters, especially the regional theaters, uh, for the casting directors and artistic directors, not for all actors that would be flooded. The, the casting, um, casting directors and artistic directors of the talent that is available in their region so they cannot use the excuse, we couldn't find a Latino or Latina, so we are looking it out. Support a casting resource list. National, national. Support a national casting, yeah, it's part of. Yeah, it's part of organization of Okay, it's right now, so it's support the Hispanic organization of Latino artists which we can do individually, I, I'm not on it, I'd have to get my headshot in there, right? right, right. I'm just saying. Yeah. So individually, submit the Ola, and, and nationally, support Ola to get the names of our artists to Ola. But, but beyond that, not only just the list of all the Latino, Latina actors uh, nationally, but a hotline where they can call the artistic directors at, in my case, the Goodman or the, um, the actors can yeah, call? Or, or the opera vista or call someone who knows the Latin, Latino or Latino pool in their area. So that's a regional effort. I get that call. Well, it, it's, it's national, well, but, but the experts are within the region. Okay. I so forgive me. regional casting consultants. Identify regional casting consultants. And I'm going to say identify designers. And design, yeah, design. Dramaturges, stage managers, okay. stage managers vocal coaches. excuse me, vocal coaches, vocal coaches <laughs> with cultural sensitivity. Forgive me, I have to go to Rose. We got, I've got, give it literally 15 I'm minutes. On this, just to, if, if I may, uh, it, it, ideally there would be some sort of accountability from a regional, large regional theater to see if they indeed did check to see all of these. <laughs> Uh, individual casting directors and stuff uh, before they went ahead and cast the non Latino. Advocacy Latina. then. Advocacy then. Uh, uh, establish accountability practice. Yes. Okay, Rose has been dying. I'm sorry, Lou. Rose is going to faint. So I, I have a question about the, the national. If we have the, the regional theaters agree to do one Latino play on their main stage, then the small Latino theater companies in the area are comp com competing for those diversity dollars. 
I guess what I mean is when the rep did three Latino plays a year and then book it, that didn't help build a movement in Seattle. That did not help build. They brought the actors from somewhere else. Discuss anyway. the challenges so, of <laughs> this <laughs> proposal. No, so I'm saying somehow, yeah. so not sound so negative, um, to somehow include the local theater representation. Beautiful. And make the rep world. Right. So that that, that Lord project engages <laughs> local Local theaters. Right. And the other races can go to ACT and go to. They're the there. Club. Yep, absolutely. Lou. And then think, I'll get to you, Juan. I, I think we need um, somewhat of a national press and the Actors Union to open up their books <coughs> as to how that. how much dollars we put into that union versus how that dollar gets distributed to. Or Latino membership. Again, accountability. Yeah. Accountability for union. membership. Union accountability. Union accountability. Yes. Okay, Juan wanted to say something and then work. Tiffany. They're Sorry? Not generating enough work for our membership. Right. How are they, how are our advocacy organizations actually advocating for us? Thank you. Thank you. That's how are our advocacy organizations actually advocating? Juan and then Tiffany? On a local level, we can start to have more writers groups so we can share with each other's work. Beautiful. Local level art making writers groups. Beautiful. Uh, Tiffany, I'm sorry. Tiffany, I, I want to hear from people I haven't heard from then. Uh, if you'll hold up a second. Tiffany? On that note from Lou, yeah. forcing unions nationally to, to uh, send out to the press what their percentages, their demographics, so they will not believe that information. Okay. Uh, force? Force a force of publication. Publication of the demographics of the, all the unions. Force publication of demograph of union demographics of union exactly. work demographics, including the critics. Including the critics. That's under advocacy, I think. We got a lot of advocacy. Okay, a, di a breath, because I think. Um, can I get a time check, please? Fifteen minutes. Oh, we got all the time in the world. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to hear from people we haven't heard from yet, please. Thank you so much. To that end, yes, yeah, Sandra. Yeah, uh, I, I want to offer up something that we're trying to do at Northwestern, which is to, uh, and I may piggyback on some of the things other people have said, but we are, uh, three of us on the faculty are attempting to open up the curriculum of what's considered the canon. And not just so that we give them a link of where to go, but we are actually building a repository for the people in our, the nine faculty members so that they have it in their hands. So is this, a, is this like a virtual repository of the canon? At this point it is, but we're trying to build both hard copy, but mostly virtually. Yeah. So this is a scholarship model, is that right? Okay, so with this, and it sounds like this is a local effort or an individual effort? This is uh, the effort of three acting faculty members at Northwestern. At one university. Who are, who are tired of everyone saying. So let's, let's talk about this as an individual level, as, as an individual practice. Okay. And that would be not only provide the list, and uh, forgive me, I'm reframing it, um, create a virtual library for the use of their colleagues. Yeah. And I would, I would add to that, because I'm just inspired, um, link that, because it's virtual, to a national repository. A national library. So the big picture is create a national library of the canon. I, I want to add something. In this situation, the three of us, it's myself, uh, a gentleman named Sean Douglas, and head of acting area, Cindy Gold, and we are actually building a repository that is not just Latino theater, but also East Asian, Asian, everyone We're trying to be inclusive. So. The paradigm shift. The Americas. Beautiful. Um, yes, Tony. Uh, this is like a self-advocacy. It's called Don't Forget Where You Came From. Uh, I, I read the bios, and when I go to other shows, I read the bios, and all of a sudden the theatros and all the community groups that helps get those actors and the, those producers. Trains in, those actors. They all disappear from the people's I'm with bios. You. We get the regionals, we get all the other higher up. Yes. But all of a sudden people forgot that they worked with the theatro at one point, produced them, and yes. got the gig. So advocate for ourselves. Don't forget. Amen. Amen. Include your roots in your bios. That's an individual, individual advocacy. Thank you. We might need more paper.
We might need more paper from somebody who can rip off a piece of paper and put it up there, please. Yes. Under scholarship? For diversification of university theater season. Develop a best practices white paper for diversification. Beautiful. Uh, Chantal. Uh, under art making on the national level. Uh, art making. To create a touring network for Latino theater. That we all have our spaces and that we have a network that every season. Create a touring network. Woo. That's what we <laughs> Right on. <laughs> okay, uh, Anne. Okay, yes. I'm, I'm thinking of something we can do immediately, and that sure. can we go back to our communities to, find, to identify and uh, make a list of those universities that are actively looking for Latino works that have Latino curriculum, Latino theater, or Latino play analysis or whatever play programs, uh, so that we can send them in immediately and compile that list as, as the beginnings of this database of, uh, of uh, for, for writers and for I see. So establish a list of universities or organizations that are seeking Latino works. Yeah. And, and that's compiled on an individual basis. Yeah. And that's toward the art making. And then sent within a couple of weeks or whatever into a pool that, every, that right. Latino commons can have access to and then use. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, in the, who have a night? Okay, yeah. Uh, so this starts on an individual level Beautiful. and hopefully goes up to national. Uh, and it goes under art making and convening. Uh, but Tiffany and I, I with my group of students at CalArts <coughs> that are going to CalArts, she with a group that she's going to start at Latino Commons, uh, we're going to connect them. And then we invite any other uh, students, Latino students across the nation, uh, to connect to our groups so that we start on an individual level connecting our students maybe using Cafe Onda as the pipeline. Mm -hmm. So let me let me see if I can reframe that then if I under so I understand it so we yeah. can write it. So it sounds like you're creating a network between across academic organizations of art making students. And I just realized of course for advocacy this is those are large numbers of people that can help advocate. Right. So, but at this point, at this point, I'll be right there. At this point, thank you very much. At this point, then, it's an individual reaching out to a, a co, a colleague at another university or system to establish a relationship between my students and their students. And that's where that starts. And then that colleague or this colleague, and there's a network that grows out of that. Yes. So the individual effort is to simply reach out to another university to establish a cohort of across academic institutions. Like a, a little uh, Latino theater commons <coughs> network at your institutions, and that way we can link them all together. Got it. Cre and and then maybe that's a slightly different thing then. Also, create many Latino theater commons, commons like convenings, oh. convenience, commons at your university. Thank and, you. And yes. Can I, can I just add one thing to that, that in terms of Marisa. convening? Uh, uh, Create a create a people of color national. National people of color theater. And is that advocacy or convening? Yeah. Americas. Create an Americas convening? Americas. New Americas. New America. New America. Create a new Americas convening. Mm -hmm. National yeah. level? American. New American? Alliance. New American it's Alliance. It's virtual. It's not a convening, right? <laughs> That's where we're headed. Okay. Okay, yes, Maricela. Local level, but and the national level data mapping. It's happening in a couple of cities. It's happening in DC, and there's some going on in the Bay Area. But there needs to be more funding. And they're data mapping, um, not just uh, well, in the Bay Area, it's ca they're counting gender parity for actors, directors, uh, playwrights, and they see the data showing that as you go up with the theaters that have more money and resources, the disparities are getting really, really big. But they, they're not including right now um, ethnicity breakdown. I think in DC they are. 
So we would need funder support, we would need scholarship support to be able to, I think, get a baseline so that we can really hold up a mirror to these theaters to show them what they're, they're doing, what they're not doing. So it sounds like t grabbing a kind of a pulse, which may be sort of what is happening with Jorge and Tiffany, creating a pulse against which, or a, 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 a map of what's happening successfully in some places, against which we can say, look, this is what's happening in Dallas, this is what's happening in Miami, this is what's happening in Seattle, why isn't this happening where you live? Yeah, just, is that what you mean, something like that? that? You can't argue with numbers. Right. And so it's just, we need to be collecting that information. Collecting, so collecting the data that reflects the successes and perhaps our weaknesses. Yeah. Successes and weaknesses. I have to make one see, point see. of clarification here. The term, I want to be clear with you all, but the term new American theater can be very confusing. You, you throw that into the establishment to say, yeah. oh yeah, well, yeah. you know, we've got one, right. there's an English American play right here, you know, new American. It has to be the theater of new Americans. Yeah. That's a very important distinction. Who are the new Americans? Well, look at the demographics, okay? This is a theater for, by, about <coughs> new Americans. And of course, it's for the American public. New Americas? Yeah, yeah. New, yeah. Americans. new Americans. New Americans. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So that, so that uh, all the Latinos are taken care of, Asians are taken care of freely, you know? And, and the thing is that that's just a, a point of clarity, that's all. Thank you for clarifying that, because now we know what you're speaking of and if you've brought it forth. Alexandra. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex, can you go ahead and use the mic, please? Thanks. Some, you know, some folks are yelling and some folks are writers. So what we're talking about, um, about just reframing language, um, I, I'd like to sort of um, uh, begin a conversation uh, about reframing the word uh, or, or substituting the word reading, because I feel like the word reading is giving a lot of theaters um, license to make us feel produced, um, because they hire these great actors and these great directors, and they, you know, and then it's a one-time thing, and it's like, you know, go home. So, so, so I was thinking like spoken text, and to have a conversation about how, okay, this is development, and what's the next step in the process with the with the with the um, uh, theaters, so that. So that it's not like, well, they get the grants to sort of develop us. We get the one night thing, which is performed right. with music stands. So rework that. Like, do we need to change the word? And what's the conversation with the theater that we need to have so that that's the first step in the development of the play and what's next? And, um, and thank you, Alex. And I'm wondering, is that something, yeah, is that an individual effort? Is that a local effort with a group of, so for example, if you've got a writer's group and the writer's group goes to the theater in their town that has been supporting but only as far as readings and says, you know what, we really think it's time. I think that for me, I, I, I mean, I don't know what, what the answer to that is, but I think if I say to my theater, listen, uh, I'm not going to call it a reading anymore. I'm going to call it text out loud because I'm hearing my text out loud. But it's not a performance, and I want to see a performance of my play. Like, I'm not going to invite, they say invite your family and friends. It's no, I, no, I just want to hear it out loud. Thanks so much. And um, Great. And then when does the performance going to happen? So how do we, so it's a, it seems like advocacy, reframing, and promoting production. I mean, I think that's what yeah. I'm hearing from you, Alex, is promoting production. So I think that's something and, that we can do at also, all levels, but also and maybe it's art making. Killing Sorry. the construct of the reading as performance. Mm -hmm. You know, the reading is to hear the play out loud, because it, 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 it does... If, if, if the construct is that this is a, a performance of your play, which is what it ends up being often, then they're off the hook. They don't ever have to really produce the play. So Got that's it. not performance. It's reframing it right. to just say, play out loud. I feel like Text it's about empowering loud. playwrights to say unless there's further development for production. Production, so how do we... Okay. Promote production <laughs> post-reading. Promote, promote production. <laughs> promote production. I think we can do that all the way up and, and we'll, we'll frame it. Okay, I have, I think, about three minutes. To, I have less. I have two minutes. We haven't heard from you, Marcos. No, I'm just, this might be a parking lot question or, or That's okay. Yeah. I, in terms of next steps, <laughs> yes. all these wonderful ideas are coming out. Yes. Are going to form like conocimiento groups or subcommittees? Ah. No, okay, that is coming. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Breathe. Ah. Rose. Uh, this is about advocacy.
see on the local level civic participation. How can we um, get our local leaders to support the Latino <coughs> theater effort and a movement? And in Seattle, a city of our size, it's just impossible that there's not a sustained support. Great. Engage local leaders. Local, local leaders. Engage local leaders. Yes, Sandra. I want to kind of piggyback on what you guys were saying about these uh, smaller pipelines in yeah. the universities. And the challenge that I face is I'm in a very white institution. And so I'm trying to not only shepherd my very few Latino students, but I'm also trying to help reframe how my Caucasian, mainstream, wealthy, privileged students think about the theater. And so I'm wondering if we can talk about somewhere along this, uh, not just Latino groups, but Latino affinity groups, because yeah. I do have a lot of interest from my Caucasian, some of my Caucasian allies. students. So how can I How do we that? support allies? Yes. How do we support allyship? Thank you. All right, because we have a minute, do we have burning, burning? Okay, we got a burning over there. Uh, just the, you know, the convenings are as empty, and um, just, yes, talking to Mark, just talking to Mark about this, about these micro festivals, he's, he was gonna, he's planning one in the Southwest, and I'd really like to get together people from Albuquerque and South Texas and Tucson, but the thing that I really wanna say is, to figure out how to get the money to bring us together to have these exchanges. Because, I mean, we can all, like, we all know where we're at, and, but, like, how do we fund that, I guess? Right. So find the funding woman. Matt, can you make this cut? Dude, harsh, man. Really? An actor? Yes. Quick, quick burning idea that I do want to put uh, yes. on, on the radar. Uh, I've been a teaching artist for many years, and I share with my small group, but I always feel guilty going into <laughs> schools, especially of large Latino populations, because I feel like I'm teaching them to come and eventually buy tickets and be audience members of the future. And I feel really guilty about that, working in Los Angeles, because I know that in a certain way right now, I'm a bit of a fraud, because I'm selling them a bit of goods, uh, because they're not gonna see themselves one day the way things are right now. So it's just a call to urgency, about the idea that there are teaching artists like me around the country who are helping to form the Latino audiences of the future with our young people. Yeah. They are stealing yeah. our money. And, yes. yeah. and so, and with that, I just, you know, I want to make sure that we're kind of like aware of that, that that is coming. Get the word Culture coaching. Coaching. Culture coaching. 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 Culture coaching. Culture poaching. I've been yelling this for years. Call out culture poaching, financially and audience. Negative one, I'm over time. Yes. It has to go both ways. There has to be responsibility on ourselves and on each other to call ourselves out and to help each other stand up for these institutions and say, no, it's hard, but it's, it's got to happen both ways. Okay. They can't do it and we can't let them. Thank you. Yes. I got to stop because I got the negative one. <laughs> Can everybody, right on. Thank you guys for writing this down. All right, does everybody have their phone on them? Yes. Everybody please grab your phone. I hope you still have like time on your phone. Minutes on your phone. Great. Really quick. Okay, while we're doing that, everybody just take a nice big breath. Ready? Yeah. Uh, oh, man, that feels good. Right, what I would request of you to do right now in the next one minute, and I'm gonna be timed, please text or call somebody quick. Please just say, hey, I gotta talk to you when I get back. I gotta talk to you when I get back about something that came up. Go. <laughs> Text anybody. And, and it has to do with this. It has to do with the Latino Theater Commons. <laughs> <laughs> about the convening, about what's come up. Uh, forgive me for being specific. Go.
I'm at the convening, I want to share something with you. This is networking. Thank you, everybody, for doing this. I hope we got the camera on that. We got the camera on that? Shh. He's on the phone. Shh. Thank you. Awesome book. Okay, we almost done? because I'm, I'm negative one here. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> I, I want to I shout out Mark Valdez for that recommendation. Oh, yeah. Right on. Who else is Mark? Okay, we done? We done? Okay, the last thing, and I'm gonna stop talking for a couple of minutes. Oh, thank God. Can we sit in silence for about a minute? And please take a look at these national, regional, local, and individual activities, projects, Take a look at all of them. So we got a, a list of things we could do under convenings to promote convenings, a list of things we could do to promote scholarship, a things, list of things we could do to promote art making, and a, a list, a list and a list of things we could do to promote advocacy and networking on behalf of this Commons is convening in the goals of our community. In silence, please envision where you, as an individual, might be able to put your time and energy. Look at them all. Some of them require a large commitment and time. Some of them require, I just gotta do it. Please just take a, 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 contemplate it all and see if you might distill it to one that you go, I think I could commit to that. Please. Okay, so the next step here is to take out, if you still have them, I hope you do, your Loteria cards. Pull out your Loteria cards. Pull them out. They're coming, they're coming. If, if, if you don't have them, raise your hand or stand up or have people bring you one uh, if you still don't have yours. And we're gonna, Huh? Does it have to be one? 
Uh, just for this, yes. Just one, thank you. For now, just one. All right? Uh, so what we're gonna ask, whatever thought you have in your head, in terms of, who needs a card? Make sure we fill that in. We're gonna ask that you write your name on the back of that Loteria card. And you write down one thing you're willing to do moving forward. Either or on an individual, a local, a regional, or a national level. Let me remind you that the national work, big, long-term, rolling up the sleeves, two, three years out work, festival stuff, some Cafe Onda stuff, steering committee work. Think about, understand what that means and put a star next to your name. So that we know, as we collect all of these things, that you're interested on that level in terms of the work. And you may have gotten a sense of all of us running around here who have been a steering committee up until this particular point, that we've done a fair amount of work. So, you know, this is the access point to that. This is the opportunity here. So we gotta put our names on the back of each of these. Please put your name on the back of that Loteria card. Put a star next to your name if you're interested in doing uh, that national commons steering committee based work. But most importantly, make a commitment to yourself that you're gonna contribute to this movement the best way that you can to achieve our collective and common goals. So if that's an individual thing, if that's me contributing to a blog on Cafe Honda, if that's me making sure that when I'm in a room that doesn't have us, I stand in my power and I advocate and I make sure that I'm a voice for all of us and that's what that means. But make that commitment now and write it down on that piece of paper. I'm gonna give y'all a few more minutes and then Kidan is gonna lead us into the closing. Please hold on to your cards. Keep them in Thank your you. hand. We're coming to a close on these two and a half incredible days. reflected, talked about where we are, and we've looked forward. So a commitment is a commitment is a commitment. So as Everyone gets back to their seats, and you have your card. We're gonna start pulling down the work we've done over the last couple of hours. We're gonna go back to our timeline and our board so that it's in the space with us for our party tonight so that we keep being inspired and we keep putting things up on it. Because as we acknowledged earlier, culture is a continuum. It's dynamic, it keeps moving. So we're gonna keep things moving.